I'm going to do this. That is hopefully going to kill. <laughs> yes, it definitely did. Hello and welcome back to Empire of Sin. And in the last episode, Al Capone has just arrived in Chicago and he's looking to expand. Oh yes, he is. If you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. I do get a little um, percentage of the sale if you'd like to purchase it on my Nexus store. And basically my Nexus store is where I just recommend a whole bunch of games and you can purchase those and you get legitimate Steam keys to be able to redeem them on Steam from uh, when you buy them. So yeah, anyway, um, yeah. otherwise, this is where we currently are. I actually found out that there's a uh, somewhat quick travel system, if you can believe it. So I was all the way over here next to, um, well, uh, some somewhere over here. We just had a sit down in the previous episode. And uh, well, I decided that I wanted to go all the way over here. And as a result, what you can do is you can click travel to. And that is an instant travel all the way over to wherever you want to be, which is actually kind of fantastic. So this is our first difficulty, two out of five. Oh. Ah. The locals have also changed their tastes and have started to prefer top shelf over premium. You might want to change what you're serving. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I, I think I'll take a look at that real quick. Ah, yes. Okay, so I've already just remembered that I still need to upgrade my um, my breweries to be able to access that kind of stuff. But anyway, we're now going to be heading into the first two out of five difficulty derelict building that we've gone into so far. And then we're going to see how we do. If we can take this over, then this is going to be fantastic. Unfortunately, I don't have a huge amount of cash. So I don't think I'm going to be able to even build something here, but it would be nice to be able to clear it out at least. And then we'll see where we can go after that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're probably going to do something like Reign of Fire and maybe just go something like this. It's not going to hit anyone right now, unfortunately, but it is going to set up. So if someone does want to head in, to that particular line of sight, then they're going to take massive damage, or at least I can only hope so. And otherwise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over here. Actually, I can't even do that. Don't have a huge amount of movement points. So I think what I might do is move here. And then I'm thinking, this guy, let's this might be a bit problematic. Okay, 81% chance, and he does have a 40% chance to critical, which is kind of crazy. We could also do mark target now that we've got that talent unlocked, but I'm thinking we'll probably just go for this. Nice. Good critical for 40 right there. Willard Willard is ready to go, and we're probably just going to shoot at this guy, take him out. Oh, he survived. He oh, he's using a first aid kit. Okay, never mind. Oh, 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 he can do both? Are you serious? He could do a, he could do a first aid kit and something else? Oh, well. All right. <laughs> I guess that's that's how it goes. Oh. Oh, you're, you're hitting Al Capone in the face? That is probably not a very good idea. Thank you very much. You're going to, uh, you're going to pay for that. Oh, yes. You're going to pay for that disrespect. Willard Willard is taking massive damage. A lot of uh, a lot of enemies in here as well. All right, so I think I'm gonna have to move Capone back here. Actually, you know what? Should I should I move him over here so that he can actually heal Willard Willard? Should I do that? Yeah, I guess so. You know what? He's got so much HP. Uh, Capone has so much HP that I feel like it makes all the sense in the world to try and keep one of our guys alive. Oh, Grove Street has met the criteria and has earned the nickname Lucky. Is that because he literally just had three shots miss him in a row or something like that? I think that is probably what it was. Anyway, so we can mark the target, have their defense reduced. Or we could just literally attack. Uh, this only uses one AP though, so I think I can probably mark someone. So let's mark... Wait a minute. Let's mark this guy. Or oh, this one? Uh, no, we'll, we'll mark this one over here. Not my first tussle. There we go. And then we're going to be using our weapon. 
Oh, I could technically do massive damage to this guy. I think Willard Willard can probably deal with the thug behind us because he does 17 damage or around 17 damage per shot. And if he gets two shots on the guy, he's probably going to be okay. Although, uh, it's kind of a bit worrying, isn't it? All right, that's fine. Let's just try it. 41 on that guy. All right, that's not too bad. I would like to do a shrapnel bomb, actually. I feel like a shrapnel bomb would probably make the most sense. It costs 2 AP, but look at how much damage it actually does. And it has a 100% chance to hit with a 35% chance to critical on two of them. I think, how can I say no to this? Oh, and now they're bleeding as well. No criticals, unfortunately. Now, this guy is going to get to shoot all of us at the same time with his shotgun, but I think the shrapnel bomb was worth it in a number of different ways. Now, all these guys are just going to be running around here. Hopefully, they're not going to do too much. Oh, he hit Cap What? How did you hit Capone from there? Oh, look at that. They both died from bleeding. Did you see that? Yeah. That's exactly the reason why I thought to myself, yes, we probably want to do that. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's just shoot this guy. And we'll shoot him again. Boom. 100% chance. I mean, how can you say no to 100% chance, right? Okay, so now we're, we're going to You've probably just move Grove Street over here. And we're just going to attack uh, the 92% or the 81%. I don't know how Willard Willard is going to be when we get to him in terms of his accuracy. So I'm just going to go for the guy that I think I can probably hit much easier. And then Willard Willard will hopefully be able to take this guy out without too many difficulties. Yeah! Oh, all three! All three hits! Oh, Willard Willard, you're pulling out all the stops, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, double the name and double the fun. That's what he's all about, apparently. All right. So now that we've dealt with all of the, um, <laughs> all of the somewhat difficult to deal with fellows so far... I'm going to move Capone over here because now he's finally in some kind of uh, decent cover. We're going to see 83% chance. Seems pretty decent to me, so why not? And then we've got Grove Street here. He doesn't have the greatest movement allowance, but he can... Whoa! You see that? You see how far he can shoot from? This guy's crazy. Boom! I mean, he has got a long-range weapon, so I suppose it does make sense for him to have such insane accuracy from such a long, long distance away, but I never expect it, you know. Nice. All right, so there's only one enemy remaining. This guy's just got a pistol. He's not really going to be able to do much, and he's not even bothering. Look at that. He didn't even bother. All right, I'm fine with that. 58% chance. Wow, okay. I actually wouldn't have expected me to uh, gain a hit. What? Another one? Wow. Apparently Al Capone should also have the nickname Lucky because he is getting very lucky indeed. Oh, nice. Speaking of lucky, nice hit right there at the end. Okay, so there's a health tonic that gives us some health back and the bandages, I assume, also gives us health back. But it does have secondary effects like being able to remove status, negative status effects like bleeding and so on. So we're just going to take all the loot right there. And now we can take it over. Unfortunately, I, I don't think I have enough money. But I might for a speakeasy, potentially. No, no, speakeasy is 4,000. Right. Uh, raid the building. You could walk away with money, weapons, you name it. Okay, we're just going to ransack this. I would love to be able to take it over, but obviously I just, I just don't have enough money to be able to do that. Yep, let's do it. No loot recovered, and we got $164. Right. That was not worth it. Yes, that was not worth it whatsoever. But it's all right. It's all right. We did get them cleared out, and hopefully um, hopefully they won't move in again. But if they do, then we'll just farm them again, I suppose. That, that kind of makes the most sense, I guess. And while that is happening, of course, we're going to have a decent time here what, what's actually going on are they oh yeah that's the out that's the upgrade mm, yeah that's the upgrade okay so that is perfectly fine there okay so let me actually just take a quick look there is another derelict building over there but i'm thinking that we're probably going to try and raid reagan's brothel down here i think that is probably going to be 
the best possible idea because if we can take that we don't have to spend any money ourselves we can pretty much just go hey you're a brothel already i'm just going to take it over and that's it and i think that is probably going to make the most sense Okay, so let me actually just have a look here real quick. Oh, the Willard Willard is running like no one's business. Look at that. Did you see that? That was crazy. All right, so let's go over to... Okay, I can, can I recruit more people, by the way? Can I recruit Can I recruit her? I'm actually not sure. No, she needs three... <laughs> you need 3,000 to be able to... Yes, no, no, that's not going to happen anytime soon. But I could potentially get other people as well now because I do have... Um, enough notoriety to be able to do that, which is actually pretty cool. So, that's nice. I quite like that. Okay, but yeah, I don't need to worry about that at the moment. As you can see, we also have um, these things going on here too, and these guys can also level up as a time goes on, and they can be made into lieutenants, advisors, underboss, and so on and so forth as their loyalty increases and so on. So that's going to be pretty fun. Now, bear in mind that in the previous episode, we did make a bit of a deal with Mr. Reagan, uh, this guy right here. And um, he uh, he didn't really want war with us. And I personally don't really want war with him either, but I'm kind of wanting to do so. So we're going to ambush his guard out in the middle of nowhere right here, because that's what you can do. <laughs> you can actually do that. And we're just going to be are there any cops around? Oh, I should have probably checked that before I did this. Can I... Is there any kind of way to do, like, stealth attacks or something? I don't think so. So, let's just attack. Are you sure you want to attack a non-enemy character? Yes. We're gonna go hard here. We're gonna go hard. Let's see what, whether we can actually pull this off. Because it would be quite um, interesting, at least to me, whether we could do it. Wow, look at that. Capone got to fire three times in a row. That's pretty crazy. Nice. All right, so our rating has, of course, decreased, which is to be expected. And we're getting no loot, of course, because I just wanted to eliminate that guard. And now we can potentially enter the brothel. And that's what we'll do. Going to go in there and see if we can maybe take it over. Bear in mind that we've got to be very careful about the guards as well. They obviously have no idea what has happened outside. So let's see. What do they have? Two. Uh, two? They've just got two guards. Are you serious? They only have two guards? Okay, that's actually hilarious. I guess... Uh, I guess... Yeah, you know what? I, I guess we're just going to move like so. And then we're just going to ambush. Straight up. Let's do it. Yes, I do want to attack a non-enemy character. There we go. Let's kill him. Okay, so where's the other guard? The other guard is all the way over there. Should have no problems whatsoever actually um, taking this guy out without him actually being able to attack us back. So that's pretty good. There we go. Grove Street. Can, can he attack the other guy? No, it seems like he can't attack the other guy. So I guess he'll just take this one out. There we go. And now Mr. Willard Willard right, will be staying around about here. And then we're going to go into a nice little overwatch just in case the other guy decides to come over. Ah, uh, not close enough. Not close enough, unfortunately, but almost. Okay, so let's move around about here, hide behind a table, because that's definitely great uh, protection against uh, <laughs> against bullets. Ooh, yeah, you can actually do executions as well now, by the way, which is very cool. I've uh, done one of those before, and uh, it's very cinematic. Let me see if I can actually show you that. Because this guy is bleeding out right now, and if you don't execute him, he can be revived. <laughs> Ooh! Okay, that got ooh, that, that's that's a bit that's a bit personal. That, that got personal, didn't it? Lucky, uh, <laughs> uh, lucky, Mister Mister Grove Street right here. Ooh, he's, he's not uh, he's not particularly pleased with that fellow. That's for sure. All right, <laughs> calm down, sir. Calm down. All right, so let's see if we can maybe do a little bit of extra damage here. Thirty five percent chance. Really not very good. We hit twice though. Melee attack. 
Oh, bleeding? Are you serious? That that's that's also very up close and personal, isn't it? That's not very nice. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna give you some of that back, melee. Take that. Boom, right in the face. Okay, so otherwise, 89% chance. Boom, should be an easy kill right there. Wow. We've got a pretty decent team going on here, in my opinion. And we're now going to be taking this over straight up. It's going to just be a brothel, a brothel because I can't really do much about it. And we're going to be calling this... Um, <laughs> oh, no. They, they really didn't know what they were doing when they gave me the ability to rename things. Because I'm really good at naming things, as you know. So uh, I'm going to be calling it... Uh, oh, oh, should I go? Should I go cringy, or should I go um, semi-serious? I'm thinking we're gonna go cringy. So Capone's cuties. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, no one's going to come here now. No one is going to come here now, that's for sure. All right, so there you go. We completed brick by brick. We gain a little bit of extra notoriety and some cash, and that is it. All of the patrons are leaving. Why? Why are you getting out of here? That's not very nice. Okay, well, um, Capone, are you okay, sir? Ooh, here we go. You took indulgence. You know how much work I put into that racket? Meet with me and let's see how you can right this wrong. I'm going to say get lost. Became enemies with the Reagan's cults. Oh, yeah. That's what we're doing. Okay, so there we go. The dock worker storeroom has also upgraded the alcohol quality, which is fantastic. And I'm actually wondering how I restore myself faster than I currently can. Let me actually just take a quick look here. What about the bandage? Am I still bleeding? No. Doesn't seem like it. No, doesn't seem like it. So if I just use a, um, if I just use a first aid kit, do I? actually even want to though that's the that's the point do i actually even want I, I don't even think i can to be honest i think that the um plus two to hp every single uh every five seconds i think it is is enough um i think so at least ah yes also um capone has now learned the light footed thing which is no longer triggering overwatch shots while moving which in my opinion is absolutely fantastic also this any damage dealt to friendly targets is distributed between you by 50%. Heal yourself or an ally. Restore 60 HP to the target character. Take aim at the target's weapon. A successful hit will break the target's weapon. Alright, so there's a huge amount of really cool stuff here. Apparently Capone is kind of like a support character or something like that. Because he has heal and bullet shield and stuff like that. I think I'm probably going to be taking bullet shield. Because I think that this is quite a unique effect. I was thinking of taking heal. But then I thought, hey, you know what? I can just buy some first aid kits. I can just buy some first aid kits for a pretty cheap price. And I don't really need to use heals. So I'm thinking bullet shield will be quite fun instead. All right. So let us now exit. Your rating with Reagan's cults has increased. How? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea how it's increased, but all right. Ooh, what's this? A stranger handed you a note. It says, Heard about you. Trying to get your foot in the door, eh? Well, listen up. Tell uh, them lousy BOI punks are gonna be busting in doors at the end of the month on the offices on their list. I can help you out, but you gotta do something for me. I got a guy giving me trouble in the neighborhood. Goes by the name Eddie Calhoun. Might be time someone took old Eddie out to pasture, eh? You take care of Eddie and I'll take care of you. Got it? All right. So now we have a new mission that has begun. And uh, we do have a black market vendor, of course. I would love to be able to purchase this sniper rifle for Mr. Mr. Grove Street. He's going to be so incredibly dangerous with this. Can you imagine? Wow. Okay. Yeah, well, first aid kits are sold out, as you can see right there. What is wizard oil? What does this do? 50% chance to resist all negative effects. Temporary increased movement speed and initiative. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. Okay, so let me actually just have a look here. Where is the... Ah, there's the mission journal. There we go. Okay. Whoa, there's actually a lot of stuff. Okay, what's going on here? Uh, okay, so reach a thousand in gross weekly income. If you want to make it big in Chicago, you're going to need cash and lots of it. Start by getting your weekly income to a thousand. How you do it is up to you, but some proven methods here are racket income, treaties, trading, and my personal favorite, looting. <laughs> 
You're on your way, but it's going to take a hell of a lot more than a few rackets to win at Sin. You need more. Get ten rackets. Okay. Promote an advisor. Getting a maid gangster is just the tip of the iceberg. You're going to need an advisor too. You need two things to promote an advisor. A maid gangster and a notoriety level of 100. Advisors help your crew out by boosting their loyalty. And you know as well as anyone how tough loyalty is to come by in Chicago. Okay. So, have a chat with Eddie. I guess we're going to do that. Where is he? Yeah, he's, oh, he's, he's not even that far away. He's not even that far away. Okay, that's pretty fine. All right. Let's uh, let's go and have a look-see then, shall we? Let's go and see what he's all about. And uh, I do want to go and take this derelict building as well, but I don't even have the money, really, to be able to even build something there. So there's not really any uh, actual necessity to do that just yet. But I would like to. That, you know, I'm just letting you know that that is something that I would love to do. All right. So can I... Uh, okay look inside right okay here we go here we go so where where is mr eddie have a ch oh there he is All right. talk to him huh? yeah what are you looking at uh <laughs> someone wants you dead you know that why i ain't done nothing please i'll pay you i got money if you look the other way and let me run then i'll give you two thousand Can I, can I take the 2,000 and then kill him? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. The evil is flowing. Uh, nah, we're gonna, um, should I? I actually, what do you mean? I'm sure he's done something. I'm gonna begin the combat and just uh, yes, take him out. Go. Just gonna take him out as soon as I possibly can. There we go. All right, so he's got, uh, I'm actually unsure where to head to at this point. I guess we'll just take the 78% chance. He's going to be pretty easy to take out. I'm kind of... That's the thing. I'm in two minds about doing this. Because, one, he might very well be innocent. We don't know. You know, we just don't have enough information on this whole thing. And, two, who knows what the other person's going to give me. He might give me more money. You know, the guy that actually wants him dead. He might, he might have more money. Okay, outfit. Outfit guard. You're going to shoot at this guy. No, you can't shoot at him with a shotgun from there. Got it. Okay, let's go over here then instead. These are our guards, which is actually kind of fantastic. Okay, 60% chance. Yeah! Okay, we got him, we got him. Nice. Okay, so we got nothing for that. Uh, technically, if I had taken the 2000, then it might have made someone pretty angry. That's the point. That's the reason why I wanted to try and uh, stay a little bit more out of it but this is the thing we're told by a complete stranger to do that he's shady he's shady so we don't know you got it uh -huh. say mister you see eddie calhoun around i got a package for him ed's dead friend that's so can't say he'll be missed in that case why don't you take this and eddie ain't gonna be needing it sure thanks and say, you own the office, yeah? You've seen it lately? It's been looking pretty sharp. I hear it's gotten real discreet. Uh, thanks, I'll check it out. Alright, so he gave us a whole bunch of stuff. Right. What did he give us? I have no idea what any of this stuff is. So I suppose I will check out my inventory then. And uh, we'll find out, I guess? I mean, there's a shotgun right there. Um... What, what, what else did he... Ah, he, he gave us a golden pocket watch. Okay, so what does this do? It gives us initiative. Right, so it gives us plus 20 initiative, and technically you can sell it for a pretty decent price. And there's also a metal-lined waistcoat, which has a 15% chance to resist being knocked back. Okay, so that's actually pretty cool. I think they are... Uh, they're pretty good. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I will indeed equip the equip the metal line waistcoat on Willard Willard. I'm kind of sad that it doesn't change the cosmetic look of the character. I feel like that would be a pretty cool thing to add to the game, but well, obviously it's just come out, so who knows, they might add it. And otherwise uh we need to think about the 
pocket watch as well. I think considering Mr. Mr. Grove Street is going to be staying pretty far back, we're going to give him the pocket watch because that gives him additional initiative. And I'd like him to be able to act reasonably, reasonably fast and, and quite soon in combat. So there we go. Okay. So we're done with that. And now all we need to do is all of those other things. And now we can confront the thugs if we want to. Okay, so where are the thugs? Okay, so they're over there. And they're right next to another brothel, which might very well be a good idea for us to go and try and take. So let's move over there, shall we, and see what we can do. Bear in mind that the uh, <laughs> the cops are running around. We're going to have to be a bit careful of those guys. Oh, there's actually another, another mission that has started. Protest apparel. What is that? Talk to the protesters. You've heard that there's some women protesting outside of your brothel. You should go deal with them before they start to draw the cops' attention. Ah, okay, yeah. I should probably yeah. deal with that as soon as possible. So let's see if I can do that. Uh, travel to. There we go. So there's the there's the fast travel, like I was talking about before. Gotcha. Ah, pornography is a sin, she says. Well, surely there must be more grave matters that could use your attention. We will not leave until this devil's lair is cleansed of sin. Well, this is the um, empire of sin, I'm sorry to tell you. It's going to take a lot more than bleach to cleanse this place. Uh, okay, so now, ooh, we have persuasion, intimidation, and leadership. <laughs> uh, would you like to have a quick look inside for your husbands? <laughs> well, that's actually kind of, kind of amusing. How would you ladies like to join our lineup? You're not a standard type, but our brand could use a little shaking up. That's not going to work, is it? Can I not tell? Can I not tell what the percentage chance of my success is going to be? Uh, I guess leadership. We'll try out. Oh. Leadership, leadership skill, skill check failed. So does that mean... Oh, so now I have to fight the cops. Okay, great. Uh, where, where are the cops? Oh, never mind. Okay. They were just a little bit late. Officer Bob! Look, there's Officer Bob right there. Oh, I, I love Officer Bob. There are two Officer Annas as well. So, <laughs> they must be twins. Ah, uh, yes. They must be twins. Okay. Well, uh, whatever the case, this is going to be a relatively simple fight. And we shouldn't have to worry too much about anything. So, let's just move Mr. Capone around here. And we will try to do some damage. <laughs> Alright. So, Grove Street. Let's see what you can do. 62%. Okay, we'll probably just try... Uh, actually, you know what? We're going to do mark target. And we're going to mark M Mr. Bob. Officer Bob right here. Not my first tussle. And then we're going to shoot him. Of course. That's what we do. <laughs> nice. That's some good damage. Cops are actually pretty harsh by the looks of things. But I am going to be using this, which is just... Basically, that's also the reason, why the way, by the way, why I moved um, Capone. Because I kind of thought, hey, you know, if we're going to use this, I kind of don't want him to be in the blast radius. Nice. Now they're both bleeding. Hopefully they will take massive damage from this. She's attacking. 12 damage, really? That's it? Okay. And we have an outfit guard that can also help us out. But the outfit guard doesn't really have anything amazing. So I suppose I'll just move him over here and see if we can maybe do a little bit of damage. 50% chance is actually not even bad. Nice. Actually did get a hit. And here's one of the others. Uh, okay. This is kind of interesting. I'm not entirely sure why I'd have an outfit guard all the way over here, but sure. Resistance all right. Resisting arrest. resisting arrest. Yes, I am indeed it's resisting new. arrest. I mean, <laughs> wouldn't you expect that? Okay, so it must be that I'm missing something with the leadership skill check. So I will have to do something about that um, relatively soon. So I'm going to do this. That is hopefully going to kill... <laughs> Yes, it definitely did. Look at that. Your rating with all of these people have uh, have now decreased by a pretty significant margin. I'm a bit worried about that. Alright, take him down. Oh, almost. 3 HP. Done. There you go. No loot recovered, but we did get some money, at least. 
So I suppose that's pretty decent. Okay, so pro protest apparel has been completed. We gained three notoriety. Okay. Um, so that was that it? That was it. Okay. So how is Capone doing? Uh, he's he's not doing too well at the moment. But look at this. Willard Willard has learned a new talent. Okay, so he has now learned explosive ordnance training. Using explosive devices, your first action will no longer end your turn, which is fantastic. Also, double shot. Fire a shot at the target. If the shot hits, immediately fire a second, uh, second shot at the same target. That's pretty cool. However, I'm probably going to be taking this. Throw a time bomb at the target area. After two rounds of pass, time bomb will explode, dealing damage and applying bleed. I will be taking this because he is a demolitionist. Right. It makes all the sense in the world thematically for him to have a lot more explosive-based weaponry. So that's what we're going to be using with him. Okay, so what else is there to do right here? Okay, so what is that over there? What, what, who, what, what is that over there? Journalist. Interesting. Wait a minute. There's actually something else going on here too. What is that? Stolen wallet. There's all kinds of... Let's go over there. There's all kinds of things to do. Okay, let's go, let's go over there and see what's actually happening. I'm sure that this is not just a regular citizen. I mean, come on now. Okay, yeah. But that's the point i feel like this game actually has a wide variety of different genres included in it because it feels it feels very much like xcom in the combat scenarios it feels like xcom of course and then in the overworld map it feels like an rpg you know it feels like a um isometric or top-down rpg or you know something like that and then when you get into these kinds of conversations it feels like a I don't know, it feels, it feels more like a narrative RPG in that respect as well. Uh, hey sir, that guy just stole my wallet, you gotta help me. Which way did he go? I'll handle it. You mean this guy? <laughs> you mean this guy or this guy? I actually have no idea what, what he's talking about, but I, I guess what I could do is... There we go. Now we know who he's talking about, so I guess we'll just head on over here. A message from one of you guys. Hey boss, there's a strange looking guy hanging out in our bar making some people uneasy. I think you should come down and talk to him. Alright, I'll probably end up doing that then. Let's talk to this guy. Give me that wallet. Why don't you make me? Okay, well, let's do intimidation. Okay, so intimidation apparently is um, pretty good for Capone. So I probably will be doing intimidation much more often in, in the future, especially in those kinds of conversation options. There we go. Okay, so now I can return the wallet without having to fight, even though it actually would have been pretty fun to fight because we do gain notoriety for that. Uh, I'd better get a reward for this. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to be a... A, um, a kind fellow this one time. So let's say, not a problem here. Ah, and he actually gave us a reward anyway. How much did he give me? I have no idea. Ah, 200 bucks. All right, and one notoriety. Not bad, not bad. All right. So we were able to deal with that without any issues whatsoever. And now Mr. Grove Street is leveled up. Okay, so move to the target and fire shot into their guts. Deals weapon damage and applies bleed and slow effects. Once activated, you can perform a max move action and still perform another action afterwards. Run and gun is just absolutely crazy good. We know that from XCOM. It is just fantastic. You can't say no to run and gun. And I think that's probably going to be it for this episode. If you'd like to check out the game, there's a link in the description. It leads to my Nexus store. And uh, you can you know, buy it there. Support the channel even more than you already do if you want to. And uh, there are a bunch of other games included in my catalog that I've put there because I generally enjoy those games or have played them and there are also links to videos there as well. I've customized my store to make it so that it's quite easy to figure out whether you'd like to, you know, buy the game or not, you know. Anyway, that will be it for this. I thank you once again and I'll see you next time.